Make America great again. What up? So. Why'd you zoom into my face? It's I don't know anything about Bernie. I know, like, feel the burn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Well, I woke up this morning and I could not flush the toilet after I used it. And I had to brush my teeth with bottled water. And luckily I had a canteen of water in my room from the day before. And that's what I used <laughs> instead of going downstairs because I was too cold. And uh, then I tried to take a bath today once they fixed the water and my bath water was brown so I did not get in and I inspected it with my flashlight. And I was like, no, I'm not getting in that. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I did get in it for a second because <laughs> my feet were really cold and I wanted hot water. Really? We're trying this. I don't believe it. Necessity, the mother of invention. Get rid of all the boring. I don't know what I'm gonna say though, so just like give me a second. Can we like discuss something? I mean, let's discuss like controversial topics, and I'm gonna say like really terrible controversial. things. I think we gave Lauren an aneurysm. No, you didn't. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. And happy and healthy. Not happy, but I am because I'm healthy. <laughs> I just really have to be. Ulcers in my throat and it hurts so bad. I'm dying. And yet she still drinks. Yeah, to fix my ulcers. Shouldn't that like make it worse? I don't know. All right, so next topic. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta take away the lighting for a second. All right, that was so irrelevant to my life. All right. Shoot. <laughs> I'm blind again, so. Incredibly professional. That's what right. this is right here. So, oh my gosh, I just thought about this time that I was getting in my car the other day and I was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ow. Okay. One time I was getting in my car at Lamar and I opened my door and I was on the phone with Caitlin and I, I don't know what I was telling her. I think I was buying her food. And so I was about to go buy it for her. I was in a hurry. And of course I'm always like frazzled because my life is in shambles. And so I get in my car and I'm like leaning forward or something trying to like plug in my phone. <laughs> Stop texting me, whoever you are. Okay, and I accidentally hit my horn <laughs> and I was in public and I like things like that embarrassed me so badly. And a girl just like turned around and looked at me and I was like laughing so hard because I didn't know what to do. And I was just like, ha ha, not at you. And I was like, ha 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 laughing on the phone and Caitlin hung up on me because she's like, why are you laughing? And she, I was like, I couldn't explain it because I was laughing so hard and I went to McDonald's. All right. The first time I ever heard about the Illuminati in my entire life, I was sitting in my home economics class in my freshman year of high school in Kuntz, Texas. And Miss Yowers, I think was my teacher. Weird lady. All right. So anyway, I'm sitting with this black kid and I forgot his name, but he's really cool. We were good friends, and uh, except I don't remember his name, so I guess we weren't that good of friends, but like, it's fine. And I remember he was like, telling me all this trap stuff. Like, explaining to me what like terms meant and things like that, and like, MOE, like stood for money over everything, and like, stuff like that, like Lil Wayne lyrics and stuff, like just explaining to me like what was happening in the world. And then he said something about the Illuminati, and I was like, what's that? He was like, all the, all the people are in it. And I was like, what people? And he was like, Beyonce, is Rihanna in it? Maybe Rihanna, I don't know. Anyway, those people, like the top of the like food chain people. Queen B, like the best of the best. What? So, he was telling me about the Illuminati and whatever, and I was like, this is creepy. So I looked it up, and I was, I'm very interested in like creepy things. Who's that? Um, I'm gonna have to like stare at these people now and like watch them. Anyway, so I was like, wow, that's interesting. And then I forgot about it for a few years. And then it came back when I moved to Legacy and I met you. And so I was like, what up? Like, let's talk about the Illuminati. I really don't know how we brought, ever brought it up, I guess, because we like Beyonce so much. And uh, hold on, I'm just gonna like watch these people get out of their car real quick. <laughs> that totally did not sound stalkerish at all. 
You should hear my soccer story. Um, then I, I don't know, I was discussing the Illuminati with a bunch of people in high school. I don't know why. And at one point I was like, the Illuminati, huh? <laughs> the Illum, the Illum, the Illum nudie. I'm exactly I where I'm supposed to be right now. I can really imagine someone stopping, just looking into this car and just being like, what is let, going let on? Let them. I, I will invite them in. They can sit and have some coffee. Well, they can't have my coffee. But they can have some, like, two-week-old flaming Hot Cheetos or something like that. I don't know. They're not mine. I have some Mardi Gras beans. They've just been sitting in your car for two weeks. Okay. I have, like, eight tennis rackets in here. We can play some tennis, like, just hang out, play with a little hula dancer and jam. I have a pencil we can draw. I don't know. All right, so I really don't know a lot about the Illuminati at all. I know nothing. I know they're kind of creepy and it's kind of cultish and I sort of like it. I'm drawn to it. Maybe that's what possessed me to join a sorority. And then I realized how cultish it was and it scared me. So I ran. I make fun with that. I definitely don't laugh like a normal person. So do I even laugh? Is that a thing that I do? I, I think you do. Well, I don't have any feelings, so why would I feel laughter? Now that in her song, in Beyonce's new song, Formation, she talks about that Illuminati mess. That they are getting corny with it. Getting corny with that Illuminati mess. So I'm wondering if she's actually not in it. I just want her to know that I support her, no matter if she's in it or not. I love you, Queen Bee. And you just get in Formation and do your thing, girl. I don't care what you do. So that's all I got to say about that. And you can do better than Jay-Z. But your kid's cute, so it's fine. Like, you made you made a cute kid. So but I guess I keep him like around. wondering, how do you corn... How are you corny with something? I don't know. Her lyrics are, uh... Of a new age. Of a new era. Yeah. A new... A step up in the human psychosis. It's true. I'm so passionate about it. And pizza and carrots and, like... None of that came up in this at all. Lesson from this is that, um, like, don't be me. Don't be Lauren Sanders. Graham Sanders. What's my name? Just say my name. I would call. You would say, baby, how's your day? But today, and at the same.